Hello everyone, this is Reese Gibson from QTE Manufacturing Solutions with another tech tip. This month we're going to explore the bounding box function. Bounding box can be used for many, many functions and you can find your stock, centroid, you can set up coordinates. Um, I use it typically to find extents of the part. Now this is bound by the 2D, 3D switch. If it's in the 2D mode, it's tied to the current construction plane. If it's in the 3D mode, it encompasses the part extents. Now these temporary lines can actually be used as setting positions, meaning you can teach the software certain points on this, this bounding box. By clicking my Z value down here, I can go teach it this value here, which is the extent of the part of the top. Now flipping back to my 2D, I'm finding just the top of the part extents. Now I'm not going to do lines, and I'm just going to not do points, I'm just going to do a center point. Now from here it's a simple, you can X4 move to origin. You can make the bottom of the part the top of the part, or create a WCS from that. Now again, your 2D, 3D switch controls that. By flipping to 3D and moving to your X moved origin, it moves in the 3D space and the Z value as well. Now typically aerospace parts have a certain stock size and a certain grain direction. I'm going to use the rectangle. The two-point rectangle is really designed for opposite corners, but there is a function on the ribbon bar to use the center point. By using the center point, you can actually grab your centroid part and type in the stock extents from the manufacturer's specifications. Hope this has been helpful. Come back next month for another tech tip.